Best of five finals. Not necessarily the one that I was expecting, but happy about it nonetheless. In the bottom right for Psy Storm is Max Pax. Top left is the Red Terran. It is Mal's Esports Hero Marine. It was showing some Hero Mech versus Raynor. So defeats Raynor 2 1. And be here in the finals yet again of the Big Gate Cup. Place he has not uh, been, I guess, in a, in a few weeks, I think. Finally making it thanks to the help of some new and improved battle mech with the new patch impacting it. My theory was that the new patch would affect TVT and TDZ, and not so much anything else. And that does seem to be holding true. Or I made that up and now I'm just looking for validation. Like I'm cool, like I, I saw this coming. But I'm pretty sure I said it. I was thinking late game ghosts, but battle mech actually making a reappearance. I mean, that's pretty cool too. Uh, but that leaves us with the other matchups not really seeming to have a lot of change. Uh, ZVZ, who, what? When did that happen? PvP, same old, same old. Disruptors, shield batteries, still pretty good. And for PvT, I, I don't see much change. I do not. Maps, I think I have no strong opinion on, actually, for the TvP stuff. I know that some people do. 100%, I have yet to collect all people's opinions of whether what is what is good, especially since we haven't really been officially on this map pool. To be fair, pro gamers have almost almost officially been on the map pool since they have known about it, which has been longer than us. They've been requesting custom games with each other and always making sure to play on the new patch and the new maps. So they would have a pretty good handle on what map is good for what matchup. But last patch and pool, Terran won all of the map win rates. All of them. Protoss was not favored in any map versus Terran. That was neat. Stats. They're cool. Math is cool, guys. I don't know what it is currently. I don't know what it is. But uh, I also was of the opinion... Well, I also was of the... I don't know. I had no opinion for a long time until I looked up those stats. I uh, kind of left it to the players, talked about some of the bonuses and strengths and weaknesses, and then didn't really drive home like, hey, Protoss is always least favored uh because there's so many other things that went into it like this matchup max packs he's just been on the rise his pvt has become really threatening i think for a while it was threatening then people figured him out then it was no longer threatening actually really at all i was uh, quite disappointed in his pvt in particular and now it's back to being really threatening and it is back to being a lot of four gates as well which seems to work out well with the new maps having some let's say wide mains so Max Pax is starting things off similar to how he did versus Clem with the double adept for Gateway. Um, this map having a ramp changes the dynamic a little bit, as well as here, Marine. Did he go for a reactor? No. He, has, he does have a Reaper. Where the hell is it? Where are you at? Am I blind? Where are you at? Okay, I finally moved. Okay. I guess it was just, it was up here for whatever reason. I hate it, like, cause it's, if it's in your field of vision when you click on a unit, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't move. It's like, it's right there, you dumbass. <laughs> but if it could center on everything I click on, that would be great. <laughs> so the Reaper's gonna go across the map and scout basically for this, whether it's a four gate or not. Since it is Max Pack's default assumption, honestly, is that it's four gate. There was a time where he stopped doing it and you had to assume other things, and he's back to just being four gate, four gate, four gate, four gate. So, assume it. Raven's on the way. Tank should be on the way. Very similar series so far compared to Max Pax versus Clem. What am I drops going to happen without pause, which I think is less good? I don't. I I really like it when the Terran waits for the Wood of Mine drop. Obviously, best case scenario for the Terran is to get the Wood of Mine drop first and foremost and they pick up the wood of mines and come back later. So there, you know, that's, there's a reason here, but I do like it when the wood of mine drop comes in as the stalkers try to move out. So about five minutes. 
Uh, however, it does not here. There is one wood of mine still waiting and max packs. We'll still have to keep that in mind. So in that way, the job is still being done. As it did uh, come in very early, Blink was not done. Very unlikely the medevac itself would have died. But now Blink is done. Foregate is on its way. And where the hell is that tank? Tank is in the natural initially. Raven did not actually... So that's a big difference so far. Oh! The war prison went down. Oh, wow. Max Pax was busy paying attention to his stalker micro and the wood of mine drop that he did maybe not realize that the war prison was reaching as far forward as it did. Oh, my God. That's actually pretty bad. That was a second raven. Ew. I was going to say the difference is that the raven stayed at home this time, but no. The difference is there's a second raven. That auto turret helped kill that war prism. How about that? Hmm. Well, uh, losing the war prism really does cut the potential of a four gate quite quite a lot. You can replace it. It's something you can find the change for, but it it hurts. Mm. Trying to go for a little bit of harassment is the least that stalkers can do after letting their war prism die. Trying to grab the raven too. So far, everything that Max Pax is trying is not working. Well, that's a good sentence there for Hero Marine. Observer is bold. <laughs> Sitting there's two ravens. <laughs> yeah. I like the missile turrets. I actually really do. There's a downside to this, though. So here, Marine looks like he's just pushing away max packs at every single turn, because he is. Uh, but the downside, of course, is that 200 minerals were spent on something that's... might not be worth it, I suppose. I think they are, just to be clear. And 200 minerals doesn't sound like a lot. And theoretically, I would also agree, again. <laughs> Considering how much of it is a... Uh, guarantee that the soccer player, the four gate player, will continue harassing with the war prism. But to some try hard professionals, 200 is basically an entire house. Uh, this fight's actually not so bad. Max Pax taking the fights as well as he could have, as far away as he could have, while still finding an abusable position. Not bad, not bad. Zealot's gonna try and go for a little bit of harassment or come from behind. Something that Hearmarine did just scout, so he's gonna be wary of it. They're looking to get those tanks. Auto turrets come down. Less effective in their durability, guys. But not in the actual strength of them. There are those zealots coming from behind. They're gonna take out the tanks. Job well done. Lose some of their lives to the wood of mines, but now the problem would be are all the stalkers dead? No, they are not, and more zealots reinforced on that third base to help save those stalkers, but the Nexus itself was not saved. Blink forward to get one more medevac, but two medevacs full of units will continue into the main base, guaranteeing basically that Hero Marine has enough time, at the very least, enough time to recover back at home in case Max Pack said, you know, whatever, I don't care anymore, let's just go across the map, which would be bad of him to do. He would not win if he did. Stalkers try and catch the drops off the left, kind of, to a degree, help four marauders and two medivacs will still be able to escape home lots of lost time doing other things setting up zealot harassment going for the war prison harassment getting stalkers in the front line trying to kill some of these weakened ravens before the scds came over like just all spent catching two medivacs third base has been rebuilding this entire time so max Pax is at least doing that but it's going to take a lot to recover from this Fourth base is also on the way. He's going to have to cover quite a hefty supply deficit with storms. So that's what AoE can do for you.
This is a more threatening attack than it deserves to be. But I don't, I think Kiermarin's gonna handle it well. He's already pre-split. His Marauder count's insanely high. His none effects are a little low on juice. That would be my big concern. But his Widowmines bought time. Some of them were still active and Ghosts were seconds away from being done as well. So that takes away all the potential power of that push, catching Hero Marine, no Widowmines burrowed, no Ghosts, ball of army <laughs> stormed right on top of that. That's how Hero Marine would have lost that army. So now that that brief moment of time is over, Max Pax really should be dead, honestly. Like, even if Hero Marine pushes through a storm, or even two, with this type of army, so Marauder heavy, and so much more army as well, it just, it probably wouldn't be enough. Three storms, that would be enough. Two storms, plus some really excellent engagement otherwise, that would be enough too. And Max Pax has some really good comeback imps, for sure. But, is this one gonna be it? If he can send Hero Marine back home, right now. I would say he's on his path to recovery, but he has to get here, Marine, away from this fourth base. He needs his fourth base to stay up and running. Then I give him a chance. That one storm on the choke was beautiful. The next storm also going to be pretty damn good. Last second splits, but so many of the units were already weakened from earlier. They're getting sliced and diced or poked at. They're getting phasered, I suppose, by soccer's, and now all of the little units to try and re-engage because they had reinforcements coming with them, which was a ballsy move. Max Pax uh, did not really get baited maybe as much as Hiramarine was hoping for. Now those weakened bio units are repaired up and there still is trouble here for Max Pax. Wood of mine also just popped off in the worst possible time. First Colossus is on its way. <clears throat> we are running low on storms. Wood of mines are getting uncomfortably close to the reinforcement line. The overcharge finally having to be used. So many of these fights have been without Max Pax's overcharge. But that is just a bad sign, really. It means he's out of every other option. The storms are not available. The Colossus is taking its sweet time getting here. And 13 probes have died in the process. Your Marine still up 60 army supply. It's game over, man. It's game over. If there were a few more storms to abuse this choke, I actually think Max Pax would have done it. He got himself within, what, like 20 or 30 supply? And imagine 30 supply but the units are alive with the Shield Body Overcharge, with a Colossus. Then he might have been able to continue holding, but he needed more storms before that got back to his Shield Battery. Here, Marine looks like he's not gonna rip the head off quite yet. I mean, he kind of could, but he has been a victim to Max Pax's uh, comeback, so... Playing a bit safe, perhaps. He's gonna divvy up his army. He's not so far ahead that half of his army beats all of Max Pax's army. But it is very likely that Max Pax is going to incorrectly split. Or perhaps not split at all. Once again, that area of effect helping to cover some of the supply deficits, but that might not be enough. Drop in the main base distracts the main army. Storms were not enough, although they damn, damn well tried to be enough, man. That was almost enough. Shield battery here plus more zealot reinforcing, and that might have been enough. But now Max Pax is forced to just send units across the old-fashioned way, which is taking a long time. 14 more probes go down. At this point, Max Pax has also been out-upgraded. And you can see how Max Pax could have recovered from such a poor opener. But when he needed things to go perfectly, they did not go perfectly. In the bottom left now of altitude. It's altitude. It's like it's like snow. It's like in, it's like in the mountains, so it's snowy. You get it, guys? It's Max Pax. Top right it is here, Marine. <laughs> this actually might be the first time I'm casting on this map. So many maps have been introduced to the new map pool. Seven, instead of the usual five. And yet, despite casting at least a variety of matchups, not Zergs usually, but still, TVTs, PVPs, PVTs, I just we get like, the same three maps over and over and over again. So I, I'm pretty sure I have not actually cast Altitude yet. This will be a real treat. 
Altitude, it's snowy, it's wintry, we get that one. Also has the weird Zelnaga thing going on, which I don't even want to explain, because I don't care that much. I'll explain it if it becomes relevant, I suppose. But the Zelnaga is here, first of all. There's a Zelnaga. Eh. This is a collapsible tower, and it needs to uh, be destroyed to efficiently mine off the minerals. The Zelnaga tower, that is. But then there's other wacky things that happen. Like if you build something and then destroy the tower. And then destroy the tower, then Zelnaga just stays permanent. It's some I don't. You know what? I don't remember. It's a weird one. I'll memorize it by Katowice. Uh The other things about the map. It's one of the larger ones. It has more particle effects than usual. The snow and the water. That this water is not impassable. It is actually something you can go through. Impassable would have been really weird. I kind of actually want to see what it would be like if it was not passable. Anyways. Uh, you can see it's very large. It's a very large map. All the maps have a lot of bases. And I don't like that trend, but I'll hold judgment of whether it makes terrible games or not. Proxy time. Max packs. Going for... Not a max packs, but a proxy gate. It's gonna start the aggression. He has been following this up with three gateways, I think, in total. And then just continuing with gateway. Oh, there you go. <laughs> with gateway aggression. So I guess that's what he's gonna do again here. So he might have picked up on here, Marine, not getting a bunker last time. Especially on a map that has a ramp, which this one also does. And said, I know how to abuse that. But it's also something that I think he does just to throw a curveball in. Problem here is that Max Pax every so often just gets really figured out. And it looks like this week he already just figured out Max Pax. So he scouts the proxy gateway. So now he knows about it, right? So he can better defend against it. But then he also kills the actual pylon, stopping the proxy warp in, stopping the third gateway from being activated. So even though the stalker can micro against these marines all damn day long, there's actually no real effect so far in here, marines. Two base setup, which is, it's supposed to be affected. You're supposed to have a little bit more of a problem with this, and instead there's almost no problem. Okay, it's getting a little weird. This is taking so long. <laughs> Another pylon's gonna fall. Uh, the wood of mine drop is, is gonna already commence. Oh, no pylon's not gonna be taken down. Too many soccer's got warped in, and that is now an issue here, Marine. With an with a gotcha initially, got gotcha afterwards. I don't think I don't think he gave the follow up due credit. I guess I didn't either. <laughs> what a mind drop can be avoided. You know, pull the probes, loses three instead of two. Well, okay, fine, but he's killing us, he beats. Oh, now he's not missing my micro ring. Tank pops out, so that, that takes care of, you know, especially Blinkless Stalkers pretty damn well. I don't know. This game is topsy turvy. One of mine was saved, so we'll have another one of mine drop very soon. It's gonna scout that it is a Twilight Council follow up. Then most likely blink. One of mine won't get any surprise hits. Proxy Gate will say, "Oh, he's gonna lose a stalker and a probe." No. Oh, and he's gonna escape with the medevac. Wow. Well, I favor this for here, Marine again. Max Pax is still on two bases as he is setting up, I guess, for kind of a three-gate attack. It's not a four-gate, it's a three-gate, but if you warp in over and over and over again, you get a lot of units, you're very dedicated. Can be used almost to the same effect, almost. 
I mean, he's getting a War Prism. So he's going to apply some pressure, but then he's not going to just totally all in with this. He's going to go into a Colossus, which uh, Hammerin's going to scout the Robotics Bay with a Banshee, a surprise Banshee. No one expects the Banshee. It's Cloakless, so it's kind of terrible. Stalkers are going to push that away. It's three probes. Good for you, Banshee. But look at the setup against primarily Stalkers. If this was actually charge lots, that would be very awkward for Hero Marine. But three tanks and a wall? Yeah, there's no way the Max Pax continues to find damage. Scout in the third base is nice. And the warp prism. I was gonna wonder, does it actually even warp in? It seems so pointless, but Max Pax hasn't seen that it's kind of pointless yet. This will be his first knowledge of it being pointless. <laughs> he loses two stalkers without doing anything to his opponent. Banshee's gonna find some free probe kills. Oh, not free, it's dead actually. But it's still a worthwhile Banshee. I actually would argue that it was worthwhile. Fire bar five, yeah. five barracks now being set up. Look at the supply block for here, Marine. Here, Marine in the better position, for sure. Up in workers has been even or up in workers for a while. It's going to have pretty big bio ball. Max Pax will have Colossus. Probably plural, right? He's going to have two Colossus with extended thermal lance and a shield battery overcharge. And you can do anything with that. The world is your oyster. <laughs> but here, Marine uh, is also going to have mobility. Interference Matrix, and all those tanks he produced, which are going to be good against an army that doesn't have charge. Max Pax has quite the job to do to slow this down, buy as much time as possible. This is the Stalker again. Make sure to clean up that proxy gateway. It'd be very annoying. Even a couple of zealots interrupting the reinforcement path or getting into his natural, so why not? It means that Max Pax has a few more seconds to build up that army that I was talking about. Charge over halfway done. Two Colossus are available, but he is supply blocked because of that proxy pylon getting taken down. And it is uh, taking him quite a while to get unsupply blocked, trying to produce everything at once. He actually needed a few more pylons. Finally, another one's on the way. About to finish. Big drop into the main base, something that Max Pax was not able to see. Triple drop into the main. Only two stocks to try and stop it. That's... I don't even know. You can't even recall. There's not enough energy. So, and even if there was, do you recall? You know the rest of the army is on the way. So, no, you don't. Max Pax is going to try to split to the best of his ability. No, not even. He's messing up. He realized at the last second that he's got to split somehow, but that's not going to work. There's no way it could work, actually. I don't I don't see any way that he could have split this army at this stage that it would have worked. Had he had his stalkers there to begin with in the main, well, then that's a different story. But that's it. GG. Here, Marine choosing the right end game strategy there to end the game. <clears throat> Potentially last game here. Senior Marine is looking very strong against this particular Protoss. In top right, it is Max Pax. Bottom left, it is Hero Marine. Both games, Max Pax kind of putting himself into the bad positions. Not having a su successful four gate in the first game, and then the next game, it, it was weird. It was hard to call. And then when when did he get top eight? I don't even remember. The Wood of Mines entered. They definitely did more damage than you would hope. Three gate follow-up was a total disaster. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, his proxy gate was to blame. It did, it did not do what it was supposed to. It kind of did something to make it look good. <laughs> like that coworker that does nothing, but then every so often the boss is looking and they actually do something. 
And then it just wasn't good again. So yeah, I, trying to think back to every single moment in that game, I must... Yeah, I think that's it. So you know, he almost gets into the, into the main base, kills some SCVs, but... And kind of flounders with the Widow Mine drop, and then has a, a later blink follow-up because of the dedication to the opener that he did that was really messed up. <laughs> Best way to put that, it was, it was messed up. He, like, he kind of found the the way home with it a little bit, but it was totally messed up. But hammering, finding it, insisting on trying to kill that pylon, and so on and so forth. And then because of that opener not doing so well, and the blink not being available, the time he actually gets across the map to do something with blink, it's total failure. He actually invests into it as well, which is a really bad idea in hindsight. We didn't know how much that would be. Here, Marine protecting his bases, and, and then it just was so simple afterwards. I think there is, maybe maybe not so simple. I think there is a chance that if Max Pax had scouted that drop, that he has eight stalkers in the main makes the drop unload on the low ground and then has the rest of his army at the third base. I think there is a perfect, absolutely perfect scenario in which Max Pax... Hey, well, you shouldn't get a... <laughs> you shouldn't get us around like that. Uh, in which Max Pax could have defended, but it would have been really tough. So obviously Yermarine wasn't reaper micering because he was dealing with the Zealot across the field. Max Pax, once again, trying to get that early aggression. So far... It is okay. I love the repair. You let the the more important SCV live. What a bro. What a bro. Lots of weakened SCVs. Three ultimately going down, but could have been five. And then it could have been more lost mining time, more denied SCV production if they had gone down at the right time prior to the bunker finishing, prior to the command center finishing. So it could have been worse, could have been better. Still gonna be kind of awkward. Two fairly healthy adepts against two marines and a Hellion. Here, marine can't be comfortable here. <laughs> One Hellion shot at a time, guys. We're gonna get there. We're gonna nail it. It's happening. Oh, the SCV pops and then dies immediately. And the Adepts get in as well. And oh, no. Well, this would be the start of a comeback. One Adept does die. Not that it's enough to one-shot an SCV anyways. No, Hellion! No! Hellion's gonna die. And the worst thing about all of this is the lost... Hold on here. Six SCVs? Oh, he almost got a seventh. Is the amount of time it takes to clean this up. Yamrin has been doing nothing but cleaning this up for the last minute. That sucks. Now, he's been producing and he's been keeping track of his build order, but that was a, a long, long time. Max Pax uh, is going into four gate blink, which Yamrin will discover basically at the same time as always, as long as he was doing a wood of mine drop. So there, there's that. Uh, but it sucks to have lost six SUVs. And what am I drops? Going to be forced to stay cornered, but then it can boost maybe the right time. Here, yeah, Marine doesn't have to scout the four gate to know the four gate is on his way. And well, he does confirm. He sees the no third nexus, so that's good on him. Might have also been trying to slip towards the south. And then realize I'll just plant the wood of mine there. Link's done. The counter micro. To the micro. Ugh. Nice. Oh, both my cats left. Now the four gate will commence. Second bunker is here. So even though the first one was a mass repaired and that kind of sucks, second one's going to make up for it. Two SCVs will die before the tank is now in position. No second tank, however, quite yet. But the main base is not going to be gone after. And Max Pax does fit in a third Nexus before continuing to warp in these Stalkers. Oh, that's that's a pretty big hit, kill. Tank goes down, Bunker goes down, Auto Turret plus Marines trying to punish Max Pax as much as possible. And it's decent, but that's a lot of Marines that died right there. Tank also on Sieges to try and help out uh, even closer to the more important battlegrounds. 
means it might have missed a shot on some of the weakened stalkers, maybe. Ravens out of juice won't be able to help anymore. Tank counts. Gonna be at two very soon again. Oh, it's gonna be at one very soon again. No tank will survive this game. I mean, if here Marine just lets this game go, I don't think that would be all that bad. But it certainly started with those adepts. Max Pax's comeback starts with the adepts. Now it looks like he is on his road to winning this game as the last tank on the field gets destroyed before a single shot. Bunker is going to have to be killed. Uh, canceled, but not canceled, it's killed. And that might be it. Blink stalkers, blink, 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 and then additional blink with the war prism all damn day long. Not quite going to end the game. The 13 SCVs are killed in this process. Handful of army units from here, Marine, also. You know, it's been a trade there, too. So it's not like he's at 50 army supply against 20. Yeah, I think Max Pax has done enough. Here, Marine should know that at this point in time, he is behind. <laughs> he's not in a great spot. But it seems like he doesn't think it's enough to uh, call it. To let the game go. He's going to try and play this one out. Observer's going to see the actual literal setup of the bases as the Raven got destroyed. So you see where everything's positioned. You can abuse that heavily, and that's exactly what Max Pax does. Marauders pop out to their deaths. And the stalker count is high enough that it's going to just go after uh, any of those Marauders. Actually went after the combat shields, which I think is also acceptable. Combat shield's going to be delayed by another 20 seconds. Tech Lab's going to have to be replaced. And Max Pax is working his way up to bigger and better things than just Blink Stalkers. Finally getting an upgrade on the way, getting charged, more gateways, as well as that robotics bay. Again, if here Marine is at 50 army supply against 20 and he moved across the map right now, we would still be concerned. But Max Pax is not that far behind in army supply, has a few more time buying tricks up his sleeve, like this little thing here. And just the size of the map, actually. Probably take too long for Max, uh, for here Marine to do damage to Max Pax. So I think this one goes to Max Pax. Let's see if here Marine can make some magic happen with a good old fashioned drop of the main base. Oh, there's a drop. Huh! There's a drop of the main base. Not bad. Medivac barely survives. I don't... I don't know when nine probes died. What did my drop happen? Plus... Nothing popped up with the marine drop, right? Well, still, there's a fairly sizable worker count difference. And that's what's important. Army supply is still a difference there, and the upgrade's done for here, Marine, so Max Pax is still in trouble. That shield battery's very vulnerable. It doesn't actually get tapped. Uh, there we go. And maybe here, Marine is still gonna do it. 12 army supply lead with an overcharge. Scoff. But without overcharge, without an upgrade, without your Colossus, without your plus one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Zealots on the backside. I was wondering where the army supply was. The Zealots do come in, but perhaps too late to help. Only one tank gets destroyed by the looks of things. Now the Colossus is gonna be super vulnerable to those tanks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's... It's... It's... The here, Marine's still gonna win this one. Man, I really thought that Max Pax was gonna was gonna recover from this one. GG. And I didn't recover, I but I you know, he has recovered from worse positions after a four gate. So the fact that he was trading out SE for workers and trading army thought he'd be fine. He was not fine. GG. End of the day, Hamrin gets that 3-0. You alright then?